right so the first option is a static address mm -hmm. right you will have a, snat, a static you know public ip address or something any any ip snat ip address if i talk about right second a address from snat pool mm -hmm. you can have a snat pool five or six ip addresses and based on that any free ip addresses on and a port will be taken care right and the third is auto map mm -hmm. auto map address mm -hmm. of big ip system so there are three op configuration options right <clears throat> you can use that okay, okay. right okay. and make yeah yeah okay. now let's talk about you know first talk about you know snack pool uh, sorry snack auto what is auto yeah. map right so if i talk about this net auto map right what is you know snap auto map right so snap auto map is it is a feature it is a very good feature of the big ip right which automatically maps the source address of the allowed host write it down you know yeah yeah automatic snap auto map features automatically maps the source address of an allowed host to an address from a defined group which is a big ip self ip address exactly right yeah. it automatically yeah. you know maps in your inside node to big ip self ip address and what is the big ip self ip address the self ip address you can choose from egress vlan will be used right right yeah only self ip from the egress vlan will be used egress or ingress egress egress mm -hmm. egress the, yeah, the outside outbound. outside outbound. traffic yeah exactly. outbound because because that will be yeah. the internet facing exactly outbound vlan will be used will be will be from vlan correct okay yeah and now suppose if you are using a f5 in a you know high availability mode right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the floating address will be used and which is also a outbound egress vlan exactly then uh, floating ip will be used at the outbound yeah right so that is why you know it says that the auto map address changes to the floating self ip address or a self ip address of a egress vlan yes right yeah <clears throat> now suppose this is your self ip address of the egress vlan and this is self ip address of the in ingress vlan right yes yes now when your traffic exiting your you know outside your snat address will be this one yes right and when it's reply back your snat address will be this one right because once your traffic comes here it obviously suppose this is having suppose 200.1.1.2 then your source will what will happen 200.1.1.2 and destination will be obviously your this ip address snet ip address of the egress vlan suppose yeah. x.33 when it reaches here then what f5 will do f5 will change the destination to the this one exactly. right play 192 guy right yeah, yeah. so so uh, you know i'll 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 show you how the traffic flows you know uh, let me yeah. you know, let me let me let me add some more blank slide in in this give me one sec yeah so that i can you know take you the you know, i'm taking the example of this net auto map right <clears throat> and this is your you know egress vlan snat ip address 200. Uh, 1.2.3 correct now what happens 
now your inside you know server you wants to reach to the external client anyway right so what will happen the first step will be source will be 172.16.20.10 and the destination will be what destination will be obviously this ip address 150.150.1.1 right now your traffic reaches to f5 right what f5 will do because i am using a auto map right so what it will do it will take the self ip of the egress vlan correct so what it will do it will make the source because i am using a snat the snat means changing the source ip right so it will change the source ip to 200.1.2.3 and destination will be same 150.150.1.1 right now the traffic will be routable because this is your routable ip address it will reaches here right the third the third will be it will reply back it will reply to same ip address because the destination is you know source is 200 so your third packet will come from the pc whereas source will be 150 150 1.1 and destination will be what uh 200 right dot 1 dot 2 dot 3 right yeah and what will happen this Obviously, when you hit it here, it has a mapping that, you know, this F5 has a mapping that, okay, that for 172.16.20.10, port number 222, I have mapped to, you know, 200.1.2.3, colon 444, something like that, right? So, it will have a mapping. So, once it receives, the fourth option will be the destination IP. The source will be same 150 150 1.1 1 .1, and destination will be changed to this IP because it has a mapping. F5 has a mapping 16.20.10. So it will it reach to the correct client. No, it it reach to the correct client. Right? So what does self IP you know uh SNAT auto map does? Auto map maps the node ip address to the self ip of the egress vlan right no look one question right really quick yep. uh, let me yep. just digest what you're saying yeah um yeah traffic yeah packet number one yeah source is 1.16.20.10 which is your node destination is external guy 150 you know going from inside and then it's coming from outside you know the first traffic is initiated from inside to outside right, right. that is why you know uh, suppose suppose you know f5 changes the 150.150.1.1 to you know any uh, you know uh, this one which ip address you want to change you know this one you want to change to which ip address it will change it will right change because you have said that, that. Right. no 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 you have what what you have said you know how the egress vlan will be you know changed to inside you know traffic egress vlan when a traffic you know hit hits to the firewall obviously the public ip address changed from here right because inside is converted to outside right now what you are saying that if i change suppose i change the source ip address to 200.1.2.3 and my destination will be same so on reverse where so this PC will re reply to which? Does it reply to this source VLAN or does it reply to this VLAN? Sorry, this this client. So the PC will have will be replied to this IP address, right? So if the fifth packet going, the, again the, then the source will be what source will be? Source will be your 172.16.20.10 and your destination will be again 150.150.1.1 because ultimately if you if you if you see the IP packet right the ip packet the ip contains the exact source and the exact destination you are doing and then the headers comes in the mac address and the other other things are there right 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 okay okay yeah i think uh, uh i think my understanding is the fourth packet the source will be changed from 150 152 
so the 33 will be converted to this one so already this is done by snat so this will be done by snat now i think you know you will be you know easily able to understand okay one second one second let me just process this one second please <coughs> So self IP of the both direction will be used. When a traffic is coming from outside to inside, right? First traffic, first time. It's not a reply, it is a first traffic, right? But when a traffic is going from inside to outside, obviously then we have talked about the first scenario. Yeah. So this is what the auto map is, you know, done on the two of the scenarios. Okay, so put packet life is again it changes the double, it's just like a double natting, right? So uh, not bone traffic, the source uh, uh, source will be the third packet source will be the internal, uh, the, the source will be server destination is the internal VIP or virtual internal VIP. It is the internal self IP address. Yeah, internal self IP rather. Yeah, internal self IP, and then because because VIP, because. IP, because yeah. VIP is also uh, VIP is always a front end IP address right. over which the uh, over with the traffic hits. All right, okay, no, 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 that's a good point you make. How to enable the server auto map? So you know, suppose this is your client, right? And this is your virtual server, right? And this is your destination, right? So this is your in in here you will see you know source address translation where in the local traffic in the virtual server virtual server list and on your virtual server it's a auto map mm -hmm. right and it is enabled for all vlan internals right right, right. Um. So you so your 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 so when your you know packet hits to your virtual server, this is your you know public IP address. Suppose what it will do? It changes to self IP of inside IP address, internal VLAN. Right? We, when we talked about when a when a packet comes from in outside to inside, when a first packet, obviously then this will happen. Right? We just saw that right and the other method is you know you can go for the auto map or either you can go for the snat pool configuration also right in the snat pool configuration what we will do you will create a pool of the addresses right uh, and and on that pool it will select any of the you know ip addresses right so there are three methods using a snat ip address either you can go for the static ip address second one either you go for the snat auto auto map or you can go for snat pool configuration right so in in our lab we will we will go for the snat pool configuration and and we will do the ssh and then we will see that how the you know mapping is done on the inside vlan so right. essentially what you're saying is just like a DCP pool, yeah? You're creating yeah. a pool of IPs so that the source NAT can happen either egress or ingress. It yeah. will pick up an IP uh, from, uh, randomly from the pool based yeah. on different clients, yeah? Correct, correct. So what we'll do, we'll create a pool and we'll do the SSH. And then you know we will we will see the how the session is established. Where I will I will log in. I will access to the you know uh, F5 also, and I will show you know how the how the F5 is converting the IP addresses, and and when the IP address is converted, then how the you know, host is you know they have you you must know in the you know net stat hyphen a n command where it shows the what is the connections from where IP source and local and destination IP the connection and on which port it's connected, right? So command is mainly netstat yeah. hyphen en 
it used to see the connections on a host, right? Exactly. Yeah. So now, if you talk, I, I have already said, you know, in 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 in, in the, you know, I have already uh, discussed a lot uh, about the packet flow uh, in the example. You know, uh, it may be, you know, that the server's root default route is not through LTM, so the packet don't return to the big IP, right? So the packet going here, that's it's the going there, the and then yeah, yeah, here and there. So, that's what so to provide that you know we use this NAT basically. Exactly. There is, there is, you know, so, so that your 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 IP sends to this NAT IP address and then it goes to outside and then it returns to here and then it's turn return to here. Yep. Right? So yeah. So it may be that you know internal servers they have the default gateway to the firewall or router, then then it will then it will create a problem. You know, the, obviously you, you said you you said earlier also that uh, we, we in in the in the in the in the place of uh, you know gateway I, you you draw on the firewall, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. In the, uh, you're right. In the place of gateway, I was about to say gateway, but somehow you know I, it didn't click to me. But I was meaning that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. So you know, uh, so uh, so if this is the case, then there obviously there is a you know th there may be a design uh, uh, design problem or the design has been you know created, uh, uh, may, you know making a point that there will be no uh, you know F5 in in the coming s some years. But later, if a client wants to install the F5 in, in its domain, then obviously you have to go for this net and you know and then it it goes. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, you know, sometimes what happens, you know, uh, suppose there are two ISPs. I, I think I have already discussed this one, but let's go again. You know, right. So suppose there are two ISPs, ISP one and ISP two, and 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 you have a servers, right? And the ISP one has a self IP connected to this one, and the ISP two has a self IP via this one, and you have a client on this one, and you have a client on this one, right? Now what happens? What happens when when this server wants to talk to this client, right? Or any you know any any destination you know. Suppose it's want to talk to two one six dot thirty four dot ninety seven dot seventeen IP address. What will happen? The source will be this one, right? And the destination will be obviously your this one IP address, external IP address. The packet goes here, right? Once the packet goes here, obviously the self IP will be the source will be changed to self IP address and the destination will be same then packet reaches here right yeah and and what and and suppose if you're and uh, and what happens if this is if this goes down right yeah. so then what happens then the server takes the this self IP address as a source it will go here and it will reply back Right, so SNAT comes into the both picture when you have a redundancy for the ISP one and ISP two, and and for each ISP you will have to a uh, different different self self IP addresses. Mm -hmm. Correct. Right, right. Okay. Now we can talk also about SNAT as a listeners. So what 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 do you mean by listeners? Listener is a virtual server, right? We talked earlier. So SNAT also you know works as as a listeners. Right. So, if we talk about SNAT as a listener, if now you know, you know, if you configure a new NAT, right? So, what what is this? So, this address list, you are telling that these IP addresses, if the node are there, and if these are the source, then this will be con con converted to these IP addresses, right? So the traffic from right now when a traffic comes to five f5 with these ip addresses these range of ip addresses change to this one right mm -hmm.